power and speed will be replaced by efficiency and uh, agility. The world is our oyster and we're just off and flying. It's something that racing has never seen before. Being able to use technology to keep it exciting because ultimately it's about entertainment. Watch this space because this is going to be different. My name is Shelley Jory Lee and I'm a British and world champion powerboat racer. E1 have said, we'd love you to be our ambassador. Will you head up the Female Pilot Academy? I'm like, yes, thank you very much. That is perfect. Let's go and kick some ass. So here's my Hall of Fame. This picture here is me first sat on a boat about age three. Never did I think that I was actually going to be building race boats. That picture is probably my second race ever. And this is our world record, which is really, really cool. I have been quite an iconic female power racer. I wanted to leave something behind that maybe people would remember me with for many, many more years. And I'm hoping that the E1 series can be that. And this is my Honda boat here. It was the most amazing one design series they'd set up, so every single boat was the same. The skill was down to the driver and navigator. Um, we were on a lineup of 20 boats, all full of men, except two ladies, and we won. I've got some great videos of all my racing career and I'm still never tired of watching them. That's Libby and I, as you can see, look at the fleet. It's absolutely massive. Look how close we are. This is how close E1's gonna be. You can't help but touch the boat alongside you because you're just really fighting for that line. The reason why we love all this adrenaline sport is because of the danger. You know, the people who win are the people who don't come into contact with anybody else. So that's where the real skill's gonna be. The E1 series is a completely new concept. It's going to be totally different to what I've raced. And my next job is to go up to E1 HQ in London and we're going to discuss tracks, so how the course is going to be laid out. We want E1 not to follow normal standard of powerboat racing. So today we've been discussing about the track layout, the way that the boats are integrated with race control, with you know where the smart marks are going to be placed, to with the broadcast and to then the pilots and the teams themselves. That whole integrated solution is something that racing has never seen before. The focus was about emotions, feeling and excitement. There's always a fine line between the danger and the jeopardy. And we have to make sure that we have and we are working with Cyber Technologies and Victory Marine to have a very safe vessel. And today in, the, in our meeting, we found very, very strong suggestions which we'll keep developing and explore in the next few meetings. At this stage, we have uh, uh, designed the structure of the foils itself to act as a safety barrier for the pilots. And the canopy should provide passive safety for the driver in case of rolling over or this kind of, of accident. We want the course to be difficult and technical, so the pilots have got a job to do, they've got to concentrate, they've got to learn how to corner, and also the spectators are watching it going, oh, oh my gosh, I can't watch. You know, this is motorsport and there are going to be incidents. There is an ideal track which is close to the shore, very good for the direct uh, spectators watching the race with specific areas where you can basically take over or use your boost power and maneuvering characteristics which really prove the skills of the pilots. It is important for us that the fans see with their own eyes how fun the uh, electric propulsion can be and so that in the future we can still enjoy sporting event, reducing as much as possible the impact of our activities. After today's meeting, uh, let's say that we have uh, started the process of uh, defining uh, the uh, race layout. Uh, of course, this is not something that will come uh, you know, in, uh, in a few days or over a weekend, but as a team, we are super happy about where we are.
We're down here in Southampton Waters to assess the feasibility of smart marks, a really interesting, innovative technology which we are looking to employ uh, in the E1 series as our boys. Traditional boys have an anchor impacting the riverbeds, the seabed, the lake beds. The bonus of the smart marks is that they're autonomous and we are able to hold them in position in the current. And what we need to make sure is that that, that reference point is as stable as possible. We are going to see some really elaborate tracks, I think, um, especially being able to use technology to sort of, you know, keep it exciting because, you know, ultimately it's about entertainment. Five. What we're trying to do is just understand how much movement is happening with the boats. Trying to give as much stick to these marks as possible. Try and emulate the race conditions where the, the marks would be um, over a race weekend. They don't seem to be moving as the as the power boats are coming past them, which is it's it's incredible. This is something that no one's ever seen before, and I think anything that's new and exciting is going to entice people to come in and be involved. Employing the use of technology, yeah. you know, we are able to, to be more reactive to, to how we want to change, change the track design relatively straightforward and relatively quickly, which is a huge bonus. And we've made very little disruption to the lake or the, the, the river we're on. Generally, it's a really successful test. We've got a lot of homework to do now with the SmartMark team in, in Germany to start pouring over the data and make the decision off. So the fact we can deploy the marks and they can leave the home point and get to the point of the race course within three or four minutes, we can be flexible and that allows us to be creative. So that's really exciting. The time is so tight that we need everything for yesterday. The COVID, that is the big problem. The pressure, a lot of challenges, a lot to do. And the main variables in general are safety, the weight. We have here one of the powerful batteries in the world. We're talking about a couple of weeks and the battery will be ready to be assembled on the power board. 